Hello! I'm Teacher Rosie, and it's circle time for Classroom 2 at Land Park Campus, which is kindergarten and first grade. Yay! All right, let's start our good morning song. Let's sing our good morning song, right? You can sing it with me. Good morning! Good morning! Good morning! Good morning! One, two, three! Good morning! Good morning! Hello and how are you? Early in the morning, I say good morning. Hello and how are you? Good morning! Good morning! Hello and how are you? Early in the morning, I say good morning. Hello and how are you? In the morning, I clap my hands. In the morning, I do my dance. In the morning, I shout hooray! And this is gonna be a wonderful day. Good morning. Good morning. Hello and how are you? Early in the morning, I say good morning. Hello and how are you? All right. What time is it? What do you think? <laughs> yep, you guessed it. Do, 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 do. It's calendar time. All right, let's take a look. What day is today? Yesterday was Thursday, so today is Friday, and tomorrow will be Saturday. So when we're at school, <laughs> not distance learning, we say, Yay, it's Friday! Woohoo! No school tomorrow! We get the weekend off! Yay! <laughs> no school Saturday or Sunday. Woohoo! All right. So, what's the sentence for the day? Today is Friday, April 30th, 2021. Let's say that again just for the fun of it. Ready, set, go. Today is Friday, April. 30th, 2021. It's the 30th of April. It's like it's the last day of April. That means tomorrow is the first day of May. Tomorrow is the first day of May. The fifth month of the year 2021. Time is flying by the last day of April already. Wow. Okay. The season is still spring and the weather is sunny and warm in general with a few uh, clouds and some rainy days. I don't know which days. <laughs> All right. Um, it's Friday. What do we talk about on Fridays? Oh, yeah. We have to count the owls. Now, these owls, these owls represent you, my students. The little owls represent my students, and the big owl represents me. All right. So let's start counting at the top. Ready, set, go. One. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Twelve students plus one teacher equals thirteen. Yay! <laughs> and here's Paul the panda, and look, he's wearing a t shirt, and he's still wearing blue jeans, and he's got closed toed shoes for school. He's still wearing long pants because he gets cold in the morning. Because <laughs> it's chilly in the morning, but it's warm, warm in the afternoon. All right. What else could we talk about? 
today. Well, for the fun of it, I am going to talk about some spring vocabulary. I do have to say, I'm sorry I missed it. Earth Day was last week. It was Thursday, April 22nd. When? But that was Earth Day. A day we celebrate our wonderful Earth. Yay! We love the Earth because we live on it. <laughs> it gives us air and food and water, you know, and friends and family and beautiful animals and things. Beautiful trees and flowers and stuff. Things that we need to live. So, but we missed it. I'm sorry. I think you might have gotten an art project. But I wanted to mention it on the day, but I... I missed it. Sorry. All right. We're still in spring. Yay. Still spring. And what happens in spring? Sorry. I gotta watch where my mouse is. Rainbows happen in spring on days where it is partly cloudy and raining. When the sun hits the rain, the rain drops, you get rainbows. So actually, the clouds should be above the rainbow, not underneath. Because the rain is where you see the rainbow. When the sun hits the raindrops, um, it makes a prism. You see, it's like a prism, which um, is usually, they're usually pl clear plastic or glass. Anyways, the raindrops end up acting kind of like a prism. And then you see the rainbows which are very pretty. And, and all the plants, tulips and flowers and plants grow in the spring. And it's more sunny and warm. Oh, here's some sprouts coming out of the ground. Brand new baby plants. People wear a raincoat in the rain and a rain hat in the rain. And we use umbrellas in the rain, if you have one. And some people use rain boots or mud boots, as I call them. <laughs> rain boots, mud boots. There's a baby chick, because babies are born in the spring. Baby birds. Baby chick's a baby chicken, right? But ducks, right? Ducklings, goslings, all the babies are born in the spring. There's a pretty little bird. Birds sing. They actually sing everywhere all year long, but they <clears throat> sing especially in the spring for their when they're mating with, with each other, their mating calls. Here's a puddle and mud, which you need those mud boots for. There's a lamb. That's a baby sheep. Another spring baby. Oh, there's a sprout. Different kind of sprout. Here's some pretty spring flowers. My yard is blooming right now, too. There's a worm. The worms come out when it rains. That's a mushroom. Uh, mushrooms come in the fall and the spring. Ooh, a bird's nest. The birds are all uh, mating right now, which means they pair up. A male and a female. And <clears throat> they make a nest. And they mate and they lay their eggs in the nest and raise their babies. And they usually have to take turns, like one of the parents sits on the, the eggs uh, till they hatch. And they take turns eating and sleeping on the eggs. Uh, eggs take around 21 days to hatch. The smaller birds, the smaller the bird and the smaller the egg, the, the quicker they hatch and the quicker the babies grow. And usually the bigger the bird, the bigger the egg, the longer it takes for the egg to hatch and the longer it takes for the babies to grow. So a tiny little songbird is going to grow up quicker than a turkey. Flowers. Oh, Easter already happened. That was fun. Ladybug. Oh, well, ladybugs are good, guys. You leave them in your garden, they eat aphids. They're very, very good. They eat aphids and white flies, all the things that produce the, um, they drop the little, their little sweet poops like on the cars and the trees and stuff. We need ladybugs. Don't hurt them. 
Grasshoppers, not so good for your garden. We need spiders to eat them. <laughs> uh, and birds. Birds eat them too. Frog. Frogs eat insects. They're good guys. Oh, here's a real rainbow. You can see that. Very pretty. There's a birdhouse. Yay for spring birds. Honeybees are pollinating all the flowers right now. Yay. And they take the nectar from all the flowers and turn it into honey. Yum. Tulips, just some pretty flowers. Just those tulips, yes. Uh, squirrels are also mating now and having babies, but they're here all the time. Not just in the spring. There's a garden. Somebody's flower garden. Pretty. Oh, monarch butterfly. They're coming out now. Beautiful. Love them. Daffodils. Gosh, some of them already bloomed and, and wilted by now because it's California, but they are quite beautiful. And depending on where you're at, they're still blooming. Bunny rabbits also have babies in spring. So the, lee, the trees, most trees have already budded out. They've already leafed out. So their buds grew into blossoms, some of them, and the other ones turned into leaves. Like all the trees that I can see out the window already have their leaves. Oh, no, wait, there's one over there who's just starting. But most of the trees have already leafed out. Some more blossoms. Oh, yeah, so these look like apple blossoms. I could be wrong, of course. Could be anything, but there's some blossoms on a tree, and they um, blossoms, tree blossoms, fruit blossoms usually have five petals. They're um, they might all be related. There's a dragonfly, another good insect that eats other insects like mosquitoes and flies. Do not hurt dragonflies; they're good guys. Snails, not so good. Crows and ravens and ducks and geese and chickens are supposed to eat snails. Oh, and turkeys can too. Find them. And these are snowdrops. Just another pretty flower. All right. Eh, time to go. I know. More boring. Vocabulary days are boring for the kids. <gasps> but fun. No, I just, I just like the education factor there. Time for the goodbye song. Get up and dance! Let's move! Of course, you're all probably already up, aren't you? Like popcorn? Who's running around? It's time to go home. It's time to go home. It's time to go home. It's time to say goodbye. I had so much fun with you, and you had so much fun with me. We all had so much fun together, and now we say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. I'll see you again next week, okay? Please. Please remember to like my video and make a comment in my Google Classroom, especially those of you who are continuing to distance learn. All right? Those of you who are staying at home, you got to make comments, please, everybody. All right? Okay. I'll see you Monday. May. I don't know. It'll be like the third, right? May 3rd. Bye.